All right. Now we see this value is uh, it's between zero and one. Okay. The, the, uh, this is a variable a that we could have put in place of that. I'm just saying it's between this number is between zero and one. If we have one third, so this number is between zero and one. Notebook. Your slope is one third. Watch what happens to the graph. Okay. It's flattening out. In fact, you might want to think that it's compressing down to the x-axis, okay? First of all, are we messing with x? No. So therefore, oh, okay, 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 just had a mind blank for a second. Right, okay, we're not messing with x, therefore we are messing with y. y deals with vertical, so therefore we know it's either this one or this one, okay? We know that the graph compresses to a flat, a f more compresses more flat, uh, flatter. Like if you had like marshmallows under here, it would be compressing the marshmallows. So therefore, it's got to be a vertical compression, not a vertical expansion. Okay. So what we can understand from this is that if your number preceding your function is between zero and one. Just like y equals mx plus b, our slope, we look, hey, our slope is getting smaller. Now we read into this. We're dealing with the y-axis, so it's a vertical. And our get, we're getting flat, we're compressing down, so therefore it's a vertical compression. The other one, we're dealing with the y-axis, so it's vertical. It's going up, it's expansion. More space, expanding. All right, next bit.